So this here is the neck that I've received from Allegory. It's a really, really nice looking neck, roasted maple fretboard and neck itself. But this one is a little bit different. For one, it's nowhere near as well sanded as the previous one from Allegory. And it came with this skunk stripe on the back, which isn't listed on the website and the photos don't show that. They just show it to be exactly like the Telecaster one I got. Seeing that skunk stripe though makes me think that for the cavity covers I should make use of that walnut. I don't know if this is walnut, but whatever wood it is, it goes well with the top. And I think, yeah, that'll be a better solution. But I'll talk about that at a later date. For now though, I wanted to look at how this fits this template here. And it does look like a good fit there. But obviously you can't test it fully like that. And there's some other quirks and things I want to test as well, because this is the first time I've ever routed a um, neck pocket and whatnot. So I want to test out, test it out first. So what I'm going to do is I've taken this here piece of MDF. I've marked out the outline of the body or as much as I can on this piece of MDF. It's not quite big enough. I've put the scale line on there and I've marked the three pickups. So I'm going to route out the outline of the body here. I'm going to route out the pickups. And then what I want to do is use the crimson template here, align it. I'm assuming that is the scale length. It doesn't actually say, but I'm assuming that's what it is. It seems to line up if you do that. And then I've drawn on the neck pocket there and I'll route that out. And then I'll be able to slot the neck down into that as well. I'll be able to test the alignment with the center line. With the scale length, I can even grab the bridge, maybe even install that, and check it all, make sure I'm 100% happy with the alignment of everything before I ever route onto the body. So when I align the neck pocket template, as you can see here, even though it's perfectly on the center for both templates, there's that little bit on the right hand side as we look at this where it's slightly off and I don't quite get that. I don't know if that's intentional on Crimson's part. So I haven't filmed much of the process of this because I've been busy experimenting and figuring out how to do it. But here is the progress on this te uh, test I'm doing basically. So as you can see, I've used the template there to route out the shape, which was a learning experience in and of itself. You know, especially with a thin piece of MDF like this, doing the, um, the horns there was interesting, shall we say. I've also gone ahead and sorted out, setting out the bridge, basically. So as you can see, I've sort of drawn it up in CAD because it was the right pain. And what this allowed me to do was basically place this over and I could check that I had all of the centers of the holes correct. And then I've just transferred those over to the actual piece here, which I'm gonna drill out all of those holes now.
Right, let's see how this neck fits. Well, it's a bit tight. <laughs> So the next thing I want to do is look at this headstock and what I've done is I've printed off the previous cab design for the, well, the old model essentially of this guitar and then I've traced off the outline of the headstock, um, what do you call it, blank, the paddle headstock. So and then I've taken some measurements so that I could redraw that in CAD because the previous head start from the the old kit was a bit bigger and you can see this here is the previous design and then there's a sort of strap style one in there as well then what I've done so in the CAD you can now see I've put in the paddle head stock from the allegory neck I've got the original design there got the strap one here and then you can see here in the middle I've put in a new version of the headstock shape so essentially I've offset it I think it was five mil this end but then it looked a bit off at this end a bit too big so I've then rotated it back so it's about I think it's about two mil at this end and then that end I've offset out three mil which seemed to line up quite nice with the end of the headstock there. And yeah, that's sort of what I'm going to go with. So this here is a cleaned up version of that. I'm going to cut this shape out and I'm going to mark it on the actual headstock. So I just went round it there with a sharpie. The sharpie line is on the outside of my pencil line, but it just helps me see where it is really more than anything. And also I'll cut it out probably as close to the outside of that sharpie line, you know, more to the outside of the sharpie line. And then I know I'm, you know, can file it and sand it to the line, which I think is the next thing I'm gonna do. So I'm happy with the shape. Thank <laughs> you.